All right, so I'm going to be in the surf team, and she is ripping. Totally killing it, and I think she'll be joining soon. You guys can leave questions or comments or anything in the chat box. All right, so he's joining. What's so, up, Baz? What's up? Where are you? Um, right now, I'm actually at Steamer Lane at the Lighthouse because my surf session went a little bit long. <laughs> well, how was it? It was fun. We surfed the point, actually, but now we are here because we were just making our way back home. Nice. That sounds fun. Was it big? Uh, no, not today. It's not that big yet, and it was really fun. I had a good time. Lucky. Okay, so I'm going to jump into some questions. Well, how are you? Hope you're doing good. Had fun. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so I'll just talk mostly about when Zoe started surfing and what she's been up to lately. So when did you start surfing? Um, well, I, I started like my first time on a board was when I was probably five years old in Hawaii. I took a uh, surf lesson with this guy named Bully. If you're ever on Maui, like hit him up. He's so good at teaching people how to surf. And then I kind of took a break for a while when we moved to Woodside. And then when we moved to Half Moon Bay, my brother and I, we just started going like every day with you guys a bunch and in the summer. And we just, then I got really hooked like four years ago. Yeah, I forgot that you lived in one side for a little bit. Yeah. That Wait, was... You guys moved back out to Half Moon Bay? Uh, five years ago, maybe four or five. You, you, you didn't live in one side for that long, did you? No, I think like three years. Yeah. What's yeah. your favorite thing about surfing now? Now that you're into it a lot, and um, well, I really like to get barreled. That's really fun. I like to hang out with my friends and do competitions and just everything about surfing. It's like a big part of my life, and I really enjoy it. Yeah, definitely a good place to like connect with people, especially yeah. like during COVID. Now that you can't see people as much out of the water, it's a good For place. Sure. To yeah. So now that you're like ripping and not on any big boards anymore what board are you riding um i'm now riding a five two two five board coffee five twos and they're like 17 and a half liters and they're like perfect boards i love them for almost every condition like five five to eight or two to three anything i mean i'll, I'll ride it <laughs> it's such a good all-around board yeah that's sick I heard you're getting a new step up what's that one um I may get a little bit later, but I am for sure getting it. And I'm probably going to get like a 5.5 five work copy with some cool colors. And um, yeah, that'll be for just like some heavier like beach breaks that are near my house. And it's just super helpful to have a bigger board that you can like go with when you when you need to. Yeah, for sure. Um, so now that you're on the O'Neill team, which is super sick, congrats on that. Um, <laughs> what did it feel like? I mean, I knew like we were out there together and it was super random like someone yeah. offered it but what did it feel like when you realized that you could be on the team yeah it was it was really cool I mean it just felt like it just made me super happy and I had been like looking forward to like something like that happening like pretty soon I was hoping you know and yeah. then when that just happened and it was, it was like just like a perfect setting it happened like super like unexpectedly and all you guys were there and it was it was super fun yeah definitely it's well deserved your training <laughs> thank you super hard um and now that you keep like pushing yourself harder and bigger into more big wave surfing like what's that like and like what's your plan with big wave surfing like do you like it more than just shortboarding or no uh definitely not i really like to like challenge myself and charge some bigger waves sometimes but like I definitely don't want to like pursue that more than shortboarding but it always feels good to like have that little adrenaline rush now and then and I like charging with my friends and it's just like a I don't know it feels good to, it also makes me super comfortable in the water and like smaller surf it's just it's helpful in a bunch of different ways and I enjoy it 
Yeah, definitely good practice. Super scary though. Um, <laughs> um, why is ocean conservation and ocean like cleaning up the beaches and ocean so important to you? Um, well, the ocean is like my second home, kinda, and I really like enjoy being in it, and it's super important for our, like Earth and everything. And I think we need to conserve it and make sure that like the reefs and there's no plastic there, so that we can like enjoy it for many years to come yeah what do you like what do you i mean i know that we go on beach cleanups a lot but like are you doing anything deeper than that like with your here are you donating yeah. that bit to places yeah five percent of all sales are going to an ocean preservation service kind of it's like to the surf rider foundation we're gonna oh. give it to them yeah and we're waiting so that until we uh, sell the rest of our bucket hats and then we're definitely gonna um, give a lot of money to that so that we make a difference and stuff. Yeah, that's great. Um, are you guys gonna come out with anything new for it? For Grom Gear? Yeah, after. Yeah. Um, we're thinking about maybe t-shirts after. We really have to sell the bucket hats. If anyone wants any, they're still for sale and you yeah, know. Put that name of it in the chat all right i totally will at the end because i'm holding this <laughs> all right um okay that's super sick yeah hoping hoping for that soon coming yeah. out um sure. everyone make sure to check it out when it does um all right i'm gonna end the interview off just with some quick questions for you all right um what's your favorite food oh that's a tricky one I really like pasta and pizza and steak. Those are good ones. Yeah, those are my favorites too. <laughs> yes, uh, great minds think alike. For sure. Um, <laughs> what's your favorite smell? <laughs> my favorite smell? Is, yeah. I don't know. My, I, I like the smell of like surfboard wax. It's a good smell. And I like the smell of the ocean. That's a good smell. Oh, that is a good smell. Um, okay, we got a, um, what's your dream trip? Ooh, definitely going to the Maldives with you guys and like a bunch of chargers, like just all my friends and we just like surf all day and just send it. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, that's definitely one of the top for most surfers. Yeah, definitely. All right, great. Does anyone have any like questions that they want to ask either of us? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, if anyone does, they can just leave it in the chat. But if not, I think that was great. Thank you so much. Oh, people asked questions. They're like up here, Bez. Oh, wait, maybe not. Oh, workout. <laughs> Tell us how you um, how'd you get asked to join O'Neill? Um, well, we were at a little bit more of a secret spot one day surfing with my homies, Baz and Jack, and we were, and we were, um, actually getting yelled at, and then Baz and Jack made me go out first to make sure that everything was good, and then the guy saw me surfing, who was out there, who was an O'Neill representative, and then he kind of asked me if I had a sponsor, and I was like, no, and then we kind of like talk through email and stuff and it kind of just worked out and it was super cool yeah that was funny it started with us getting yelled at and then ended with like a friend for you yeah we all be friends with him by the end so that was good <laughs> all right great well thank you so much for meeting with me yeah thank you that was awesome cool well have a good night good luck at the land yeah thank you all right <laughs> bye Baz. bye you